What's going on, Muscle Maniacs? Welcome back to Dark Cloud. Uh, I have a bit of, you know, news for what happened uh, previously. So, I... We're about to go fight the boss that we prepared for in the last episode. And I have to tell you that I already fought it. I fought the boss and looked down only to realize that I had accidentally turned off my recording. And so I immediately just cut it off. But the spoiler of it is that, unfortunately, I know how to fight the boss. But I gotta tell you, we, you, you didn't miss much. You really didn't. I mean, I, I, we're gonna go beat it right now. And um, if I can help it, I'm not gonna use any food. <laughs> um, I figured it out. And holy cow, is it not hard. Let's, uh, let's dive right into it we are good to go here though so that's cool uh, let me eat down okay and let's go to the inside of the Sun and Moon temple <laughs> I am a I'm so baffled I'm so baffled by this by this boss fight um, I'm so baffled by it that like I literally just cut it off. like I just cut it off I didn't even try to redo it it was so lame. <laughs> I mean, remember last uh, boss fight? Like, I literally had to break it because I couldn't figure out what the heck to do. Like, this one, it's written out what it wants you to do, and then it's just like, this. that's all you do. That's it. Um, need to go here. Need to equip this. Actually, don't even really care. That's fine. And... Um, what attribute did I like on this? I think it's wind. That's what we want. And actually, we want to put on this and this and this. Yep. And we'll start here. Oh wait, we have to put put the items in. So we're gonna use the moon signet. What? Oh wait, am I still? Ah, <laughs> whoops. Where are you, sun signet? Moon signet, good to go. This boss looks awful neat. I like this room you fight into, that giant eye. It's very neat. Oh, if you hear any rustling in the in the side or uh, in in the recording, just know that Heidi's in the room with us tonight. She's being a sweetie. Okay. They could have put like something for us to walk up to that was like that was in the middle but instead it's just like on the floor whoever disturbs my sleep shall be punished by death and here comes mr. shadow man King's curse <laughs> he surprised me the first time he's like muscles the ancient king spirit is possessed by the dark genie as well can you defeat him? I'm like, yeah. And so begins the boring boss fight. You turn your fan on. You make the black, black smoke go away. You lock on. You hit him for 95 damage. And then you do it again. And that's literally the entire boss fight. And also, as an added bonus, if you look at our health and uh, weapon stamina bar and really everything up all at the top of the screen the when the black smoke is heavy on the screen it just totally screws up the entire frame rate for the whole thing so just a, just a little added bonus for you know an amazing boss fight <laughs> oh riveting 
Got it. <laughs> oh, I missed! There we go. Wait, was there a way... I feel like I should be able to do like a hundred and something damage. Maybe I spec'd it a little wrong. Oh, no matter. <laughs> it's like five damage difference. Alright. And so... I did a lot more running around before, but this is, this is, I had this figured out in the first, like, few seconds of the boss battle. It's so lame. Like, I, I'm really astounded that they, they didn't add in anything else cool to this. And, and by the way, like, I'm slashing once because it will only allow me to slash once. It, they didn't even add in, like, my an ability for me to just, like, haul off and keep hitting him. See, look, the second hit doesn't doesn't actually connect. And this works better just to, like, immediately start spinning, because his little walk animation is kind of quick. But if you're just switching fast enough, it's easy. <laughs> we are at a wall, so... Let's make a turn here. So difficult. <laughs> I can't believe it. <sighs> Come and get it. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. This is, like, offensive. We went through that whole dungeon just for this. How dare they? Alright, time to time to fix that weapon. And I tried it with other characters. It's not like they hit any harder than our, like, main super badass main character. You know? Um, I guess I'll repair that. And I'll go ahead and repair the other one, too. Oh! Here we go. We have so many repair powders, we are good to go on that. <laughs> uh. So how's everybody doing today? Yeah? Doing well? I'm doing fine, I'm just repeating a incredibly boring boss fight that I've already beaten. It'd be different if it were fun or challenging or if there was something that I like didn't figure out the first time around. But this I don't I don't even know what to call this. An insult insult to my intelligence maybe? God, it takes so many hits too. Did they not think that anybody was gonna? Nobody was gonna figure. Did they not think anyone was gonna figure this out for a while? Like the black smoke was literally at the door, like in like five doorways through the dungeon. Come on. Let's get this over with now. I guess, you know what I could do is do like a big charge shot if I have time. Let's try that. Because it'll do a lot more damage. Alright, so we got that. We got this. I'll just wait for the... Oh, nice. Okay, and that finished it. So, okay. And that's that. At least I think so, unless that was, like, a mini-boss. Either way, I wasn't recording before, so... Had to, had to cut that bad boy off. Is there another boss? I will be so surprised. No, there's the ship, though. The moon ship. That's awesome looking. 
Oh, sweet. What a beautiful ship. <laughs> Moon people are all born artists. That ship is a testament to that. Oh. Ow. Oh no, now that the king's curse has been broken, something is happening to the temple. Muscles, get on the ship. That way. All right. Oh, it's taking off. Oh, sick. No way. Oh, is this going to be a little... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I'm going to have to play Guitar Hero. I'm so bad at that. If this ship gets wrecked, I'm going to be so mad. So is he. Oh, crap. Here we go. Crap! Oh, I missed it right at the end! No! <laughs> Damn it all! Shoot! Yes, okay. Oh my god, I, I literally missed the last one. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, it's so not epic when I have to redo it like that. <laughs> Man. Alright, well. Oh well. Oh, cool. Big mall opens up. Are we going to actually get to see the inside of the ship? That would be so cool. What is it? What's going on? I have no idea. Just a badass ship coming out. That's what. What's that? Okay, I want that GIF as my background. This thing is so cool. Please let me go inside. Whoa, I love it. Are we going to the moon on this? Let's move it, take the helm. If we are going into space, like we're literally not even inside the ship. To the ocean of stars and beyond! The yellow drop- two yellow drops! Uh, yeah, we are- we are gonna leave the atmosphere, and, um... Well, there's multiple moons. It's flying! You're right. That kid must be on it. That kid? <laughs> he only speaks in two syllables at a time. Yeah, the one with the green hat and those beautiful eyes. There was something special about him. Okay, moon people. <laughs> Lady Gaga, muscles, good luck! They were rabbits the whole time? What? Aww. That's adorable. That's adorable. They were rabbits. Does that mean that the place we're going to are all going to be rabbits? Because they were the moon people, right? Oh. Oh my god. No way. We're literally on like a moon. We're going to get to make a... A town on the moon. That's so cool. Say, don't you stare about like that. People will think we're hicks. <laughs> we're riding on this ancient ship. <laughs> You're like, wow, where did you dig that up from? <laughs> I guess I'm not even going to get to see the inside of the ship, huh? They are, go they are moon people. They're all rabbits. Welcome to Yellow Drop. I've heard the story from Nim of Brown Boo. 
These days, we have this neat communication system called Crystal Net. We get information fast. Unfortunately, the mayor is not here right now, but rest assured, I, Samba, will serve as your guide in place of the mayor. Please come this way. They're rabbit people. I want to see them without their hoods. And he's like, oh, well, never mind. We'll never get in our town again. Oh, okay. Very neat. They build their places in circular areas over bodies of liquids. That's what this rabbit people are all about. Come on, mussels. I'll give you a tour around the village. Where shall we start? Excuse me, I have to take a call. Wow, they are advanced, huh? Yes, it's me. Oh, Linda? What's up? Eh? Our date today? <laughs> Yikes! Come on, I didn't forget. How could I forget that? No way, really? Yeah, sure, gotcha. I'm leaving right now. Be there in a flash. <laughs> wow, I'm so sorry, Muscles. I have an emergency. <laughs> booty. Booty call. Let's go. I have to go right away, or I'll be in deep shit. Bye! <laughs> they hop. How did I never notice that? Okay. That's even better. Tap. Wait. Okay, hold on. Can I vibe with this? Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Hold on. I wish something were just exploding in the background and the credits start rolling. It's like, huh. Uh, bad guys never look at explosions. Credits roll. <laughs> That's awesome. Hi, my name is Mania, collector of rare moon items. I collect old items. Do you have any for me? Uh, is that thing a moon item? Whoa, cool! Where did you get that clay doll? An ancient figurine clay doll made by an ancient people? And this model is, like, totally rare. There's only a couple dozen of them. Can I please have it, please? Uh, I hope this is who I'm supposed to give it to. All right! Yes, thank you very much! But... I see. I guess you can't, huh? Oh, I know. I'll give you my treasure in return. Here. Son. Don't waste your breath telling me to give it back. I'm keeping this. This will be my new treasure. I hope this is what we needed that item for. I can't imagine. Uh, I think so. If it's what I'm thinking it is... It is, it is. So, check this out. Uh, huge amounts of magic damage. And a nice little three increase for everything else, too. So, yeah, super good item. Very cool. I just hope that's who we're supposed to give it to and not somebody else. I'll be very sad. Um, because I could have said no, right? This place is so neat. Whoa, it looks like a arena. This is the factory that our boss is so proud of. What do you think? It's something, isn't it? I'm Laydan. I'm in charge of this factory. I was told about you. Nice to meet you. Oh, Samba is supposed to be your guide. He's not around. Well then. I will take his place and guide you. So I hear you need to know about the sealing technique. That's a secret skill from ancient times used by our ancestors. Maybe our boss knows. Shall we go? Look at a little hippie hopper. 
This is the great factory our boss, leader of the moon people, has created. There's nothing you can't make here. Except maybe a chair. Unfortunately, the boss is not here. Along with testing the new model, he's entered a contest. If it's urgent to see him now, go to the Colosseum. Colosseum is straight ahead past the Moon Sea. However, the Moon Sea has changed recently. Monsters are lurking all over now. Also, the structure of the Moon Sea seems to have become more complicated. So that's our dungeon, the Moon Sea. I'll walk you to the entrance of the Moon Sea. This way, please. Hmm... Well, what are we building, then? Is there, like, Atla there? Because it doesn't seem like anything is missing from this town. Hmm. Beyond this gate is the Moon Sea. But then, it's quite different from any sea you know. Recently, many monsters started, appear started appearing in the Moon Sea. Stay sharp and be careful. I don't want to go now. Various recovery and support items are sold in this village. Be fully prepared before you set foot on the moon sea. So long now. Okay. So what's our options as far as movement and pause menu and such? Can we just go to other area? Oh, okay. Oh, perfect. So that's really cool. Um, what about... So I can't zoom out. That's only for when we're making the place. Who are you? Blue Terra? What are you doing here? Got nothing better to do? So Ailey is the one. Okay. That's the that's the moon sea symbol. Okay. Um I guess we'll just try to go in places, huh? Who are you? Jive. Hey there, who are you? I'm Jive. I know all about weapons, so listen up. To build a sun sword, increase its original anti-bases evenly, and then all five elemental attributes up to the necessary level. We have the sun sword, right? Okay. All three types of water. Only chicken. And a gun. Oh man, do we get a cool character that uses a gun? That's awesome. So there's nothing we don't that we need right now. We are pretty stocked up on everything after that failure of a boss fight. <laughs> um Yeah. Oh wait, he sells Beast Busters? Don't we need that? I think so, right? Hold on. Weapon. Build up. Lamb sword? Uh. Do I really want to lose, like, our level 16 weapon for that? Let's see. Uh, lamb's sword. It is, let's see, 5560-9943. It starts out at, what? It starts out at 45... 44, 70, 20? Ooh, that's really bad, huh? Okay, hold on. So, one of the better ones, it looks like, in the game can be made from the lamb sword. Hmm... Is there any other ones? Any other swords that we have? Let's see. We got the Macho Sword, not the Man Eater. Hmm. I don't know. That's a. Whoa. 
I don't know anything about these swords. But you know what? Let's build up the sun sword because it looks like we can get a really good one if we use that. So let's just use this from from now on, huh? Uh, take you off. Take you off. Can I build you up still? Oh, look at that. I'm no longer able. Should I, mm, what if I what if I status broke this thing as good as it is and just popped it right on? Hmm. It deals sixty percent. Hmm. That's a tough one. So if I put this on, can I build it up? Yeah, look at that immediately. I don't want to waste that. I really don't. That's too good. Alright, so... What are we missing, currently? Beast and flying. I think we have flying. We, we should definitely buy some beast, though. Now that this guy's right in front of us. Alright, um, I guess that's it for now. Get some flying and then, oh wait, we have the diamond too, oh boy, forgot about the diamond. So if it's, if we try to build it up now, does it say that our, we're still shy, oof. Um. I don't know, man. We'll figure it out later. Let's keep going around and looking at some cool stuff. Actually, it is time to end the episode. So I guess we'll end it there. Um, I might do a little bit of research and see what kind of path we want to do with our weapons. But yeah, next time we'll run around the rest of this area and then just take on the Moon Sea and see what happens. So, hope you guys enjoyed that super thrilling boss fight. And uh, make sure to tune in next episode of Dark Cloud. I'll be there. Will you? All right. Bye, guys.